Hi everyone, Bernard here with the latest Citizen vlog and this is a little special and a little quiz and a little bit of a special one today. I had a quick uh, chat to Leslie Ross the other day who along with uh, Peter Thornton, and Leslie Ross was the illustrator, Peter, Peter Thornton the writer obviously produced this wonderful book that uh, obviously proceeds of this, some of this went to tackle for Manchester as well. So obviously we've had this a while and I thought I just thought I'd ask you if it was okay if we did a little bit of a quiz so it should test you obviously on the book itself and give us a chance to look at some of the great images but also because of um, the formidable season so I mean so you know obviously it wasn't long ago was it so obviously some people have been struggling on some of my quizzes with uh, some of the questions so uh, perhaps perhaps you should be okay uh, answering stuff on last season probably better than me anyway I'll, I'm probably pretty useless at this to be honest with you I'll try and think what I would have scored as we're going through when I do the questions uh, I'll have a, give you the I'll give you the links to Leslie Ross etc at the at the end of this um, obviously I've got a little note here so don't forget so because that's still available to buy and absolutely fantastic. Please do yourself a favour or get some get it get it as a birthday present for yourself or uh, or something like that. Anyway, please if you're new to the channel, push the old subscribe button. That'd be fantastic. Push the bell notifications. All the links for everything: city quizzes, city pass, citizen pass all city old things, etc. I'm putting, trying to put lots of content out there, or obviously in these difficult times, and obviously if you're into movies and TV drama and posters, etc. Also, check the links below. There's also plenty of vlog, blogs on reviews and information for what's out to buy if you're stuck at home and you you need a little bit of uh, something to keep you entertained. Please, all the links are below. So. Thumbs up. If you can get us a thumbs up, push that bell notification on all these little vlogs are coming out. Thumbs up's always appreciated, much appreciated. Right, let's do this little quiz, shall we, on the formidables. 15 questions. So you can answer in the time I do on here. I'll give you a little bit of a space. Or you can just pause. Pause the vlog if you want to have a little think. I mean, it's just for fun. So let's see how we get on with this. So let's see how many points are up for a grab. 8, 10, 13, 20, 26 points. So there's 15 questions. Excuse me, but we've got 26 points up for grabs. 22, yep, 26 points. Let's see how far, let's see how let's see how you do. Right, question one. Uh, I won't particularly show too much out of this when we're, we're doing this. I might show you something as we're going through because obviously it'll give give the clue away as to what happened. The Community Shield kicks us off, isn't it, on the August the 5th, 2018, uh, against Chelsea. Um, and City won 2 0, but who was City's scorers? And that was trophy number one of the four middle wasn't it? Number one of the four. Who scored for City in that 2-0 win over Chelsea in the Community Shield? A long, long, seems a long, long time ago now. We've been to Wembley three or four times since, haven't we? I can't remember now. Question two. Our first drop points of the season were against Wolverhampton Wanderers on August the 25th. Uh, 2018 so it was at Wolverhampton so it wasn't it was early doors wasn't it it was quite early into the season uh, but we went one goal down from a very dubious goal but who equalised for City obviously the game ended one all who equalised for City in that game we'll not talk about the the uh, handball goal for Wolves When we played Fulham, question three. When we played Fulham, September the 15th, 2018, we won 3-0. But all three goals were scored by three separate players whose surname begun, began with the letter S. Can you name the three players who scored in that game? That's Fulham on the 15th of September, 2018, 3-0. The three S's. Who are the three S's? Three points up for grabs on this one. So if you do need time to think, say just pause this, don't, you know, I'll give you a little break, but uh, I'm not going to give you long. Question four. I'm going over to the League Cup now. On September the 25th, we played Oxford away in the League Cup. But who scored his debut goal, his first goal for City in that game? I had to change that question because I give you the answer, so I've had to change it slightly. <laughs> the joys. I'm not going back in editing it. I'm not. No, I'm just. Uh, I could all. I could switch the question, so it doesn't really matter. 
So who scored his debut goal against Oxford on September the 25th? Not much later, this is question five. In the Premier League, obviously, we had a trip to Anfield, didn't we? And wonderfully, wonderfully, we actually um, came away with a point, didn't we? We came away with a point, um, a nil-nil. I mean, obviously, we, thanks to this guy mainly. I'll show you a little picture who that is. So, let's have a picture of him when we have a nil-nil scoreline, haven't we? Um, but City did get a late penalty. So, who was the penalty awarded? I mean, obviously, who, who committed the foul? So, which Liverpool committed the foul and who was the foul on? So there's two points up for grabs. So that's uh, October 2018. So 18 months ago now. So who committed the foul? So which Liverpool player committed the foul? And who was the foul upon? Which City player? Question six. Our first City defeat that season came on the 8th of December. So we did really well, didn't we? That was our first defeat. In the league, sorry, in the league. Who beat us and by what score? We were away. We were away from home. So who was the first team to inflict a league defeat on City that season? A league defeat. That was the 8th of December. Going back to the League Cup now. For question seven, obviously we played Leicester on December the 18th um, and we actually drew 1-1, so it meant they had to go to uh, to penalties. But what did we, what score did the penalties finish up? What did we actually score, was it, in the penalty shootout? Just one point off for grabs for that one. What was the score on penalties? Not long after... This is question eight. City suffered their first home league defeat in the league, defeat in the league, uh, on the 22nd of December. Who was that against and by what score? It wasn't a bad season, was it? Did all right. Into the new year now for the next one. So, obviously... 3rd of January 2019 now. And obviously, we welcome the wonderful, super kind, caring Liverpool to the Etihad Stadium. Uh, as you know, we beat them. That's not going to be the question. But there was a certain clearance, wasn't there, off the line by Mr. John Stone's fantastic clearance, who obviously. But what officially was marge, was the margin of the ball not being quite fully over the line. So in what distance in millimetres did not the, did the ball not cross the line? And I'll give you a little bit of leeway here because there is a little bit of, um, obviously, a flaw in the system that allows for so many millimetres either way. So if you can give me within within the – if you give me the exact, that's fair enough. But if you, give, if you give me within the allowance as well, I'll let you have a point as well for that. So how many millimetres – before it had crossed the last hole, what was what was the distance we were saved by? Would be an interesting one. I actually got that wrong. I thought it was some, but I would have been in with I would have been in the within the allowance, so I would have still given myself a point. And the next one, question ten. We might have to pause this one. Yeah, the old song. I mean, we remember the song, don't we? You put the ball in such and such's net after the team did, or words to that effect, obviously uh, without swearing. Uh, on the 6th of January, we played Rotherham at the Etihad in the FA Cup, obviously third round of the FA Cup, and we beat them 7-0. One of those goals was an own goal by a Rotherham player, but six different players scored. Can you remember the six different players? You get a point each, whatever you remember. So forget the own goal. So apart from that, who put the ball in Rotherham's net after the team did? So name me the six goal scorers. That's a good one, isn't it? And you can have a guess if, you, if you're struggling. A little bit of time, but I think, I think you're probably past pause, pausing that one and having to think, aren't you? Right, because I don't want to be here all day. Uh, right, on to the League Cup final against Chelsea. On February 24th, 2019. 
obviously it went to a, a penalty shootout. It's near zero zero. So number two trophy was on the way after who obviously scored the winning goal from the penalty spot for City. So whose goal was the put the the final that that gave City their second out of four trophies? It's fairly easy, isn't it? That one. Right, it's a Champions League question now for the um, question 12. Champions League. Uh, City welcomed Schalke, and we had another 7 0, didn't we? We welcomed Schalke for the second leg uh, to the Etihad. Um, but what was it on aggregate? It was set up a 7 0, but what did we beat Schalke on aggregate? Don't check, don't look back. What score was it? On aggregate in total, home and away. So on aggregate, City defeated Schalke. Did I remember that one? Probably not. I might have guessed, but I probably would have got it wrong. I mean, <laughs> I thought it was 6 0 for the home guy. Well, just useless. Right, question 13, nearly there now. Uh, three days after the de disappointing defeat, obviously, to, in the Champions League, carrying on from that to Tottenham Hotspur at the Etihad. Uh, we actually had to play them in the Premier League, didn't we? Um, so, but who, we actually won that 1 0, but who scored the goal? So that's April the 20th. Who scored City's winning goal against Tottenham Hotspur? Now, this one is a uh, question 14. If you're within three seconds, I'll let you have this because the official timing might be slightly different from one place to another. But in the final home game where we clinched our third trophy, obviously, uh, final away game, sorry, with a 4-1 win at Brighton and Hove Albion, City were behind, weren't we? We were 1-0 behind. But for how long was City behind? How many seconds? So I'll, get, I'll give you a point if you're within three seconds either way. But what was the official thing? But it may have been different on different sites, obviously. But the, you've got to go with whatever I've got here. So if, you, if you're not within three seconds of this, you're not going to get a point because I'm mean, as you know. Did I know this? Yeah, I would have been a second out, but I did, did uh, obviously near enough. And, of course, our final formidable trophy was the FA Cup uh, win, 6-0 against Watford on the May the 18th, 2019. So nearly nearly two, nearly two, a year coming up now, obviously. And it did equal a record, didn't it? It did equal the biggest win in an FA Cup final. So who had previously held the record? So who played? And what was obviously you're not going to ask, I'm not going to ask you the score because you know it because it was six nil. But uh, which were the two teams involved in the in the record back in? I'll get I'll give you the um, I'll give you the year 1903. So you just need the two names, two names for two points. Which two teams played? Yeah, I, I didn't actually know this one. Thankfully, I get the actual joy of having a look at the book now with some of these answers. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's go through the answers. Community Shield, obviously, um, against Chelsea, who scored the goal. Obviously, Sergio got the goal. Fantastic images of Sergio got both goals. So the score was just scorer, or who scored was obviously Sergio Aguero. Some great images there. Oh, I won't keep saying that because they are great images. So I'll just I'll just show you the pictures and and keep quiet. Um, yeah, I mean the one-one draw with Wolves. Uh, a bit disappointed with the cheating goal, but the equaliser was scored by Mr. Laporte. I'm Eric Laporte. Scored our equaliser in the 1 1 draw with Wolves. Question two, give yourself a point for that. Uh, so, how many of these have I got? Aguero, yep, I got that. I got Laporte, yep, that's no problem. Right, the third one 3 0 against Fulham. So, this was quite hard, was it? It wasn't hard because as long as you know City players beginning with S, you're all right. So, the three City players beginning with S. Obviously, Sane, Silver, and Sterling. So, yeah, the three images, three S's. All right, question four. Obviously, I had to change this. I had to change this question. I'd worded it incorrectly at first. 
So obviously, I did end. What did I end up saying? It's obviously the um, debut goal. That's it. The debut goal against, and it was of course the debut goal was by this gentleman here, Phil Foden, against uh, Oxford United in the in the League Cup. You know, I, had to, I had to switch that about a little bit because. Uh, <laughs> I wanted the I wanted the answer to be Oxford United. I was going to say which which team did Oxford Phil Foden score make his debut and score against? So obviously I'd already give you Oxford. So I had to change that to Phil Foden. So there you go. Have you got Phil Foden? Spot on with that one. Question five. Obviously the Liverpool game, wasn't it? Uh, we've already seen the Edison image there. These are good. These are like the little match reports that obviously has been written. Not much to write on the nil nil is there, apart from the penalty, etc. Um, but yeah, it was obviously Sane was fouled by obviously uh, Mr. Van Dijk, wasn't it? So for a, a two points, Sane and Van Dijk. I mean, again, I would have I would have got that right. I'll give myself two points for that one. The next one, and the first first defeat in the league obviously came away, didn't it? it came away, sadly. Uh, we've got a little picture. With, uh, Mr. Fabian Delphi as well, but it was obviously came away at Chelsea, didn't it? Two 0 defeat at Chelsea. Image of uh, Fabian Delphi there. So that was our first City defeat, two 0 Chelsea. So if you got that right, give yourself two points. I I, pro I would have I I might have said one nil. So I'm only going to give myself one point there. So I lost a point on that one. So you might be ahead of me now. Leicester versus Manchester City in the League Cup. Obviously, Mr. Murich was in goal, wasn't he? Great image there, Mr. Mr. Murich. Yeah, we won on penalties, and we won on penalties. De Bruyne there, doing what he does best. Um, three one. So we won on three. So if you got three one, give yourself a point. So yeah, I did remember that. And of course, the first home defeat. I think most people would have probably got this. Um, because of course, unfortunately. 3-2 against uh, Leicester City. Very disappointing. A couple of cracking goals, wasn't there, from Leicester City? But a bit disappointing. But that was our first home defeat. So give yourself two points if you've got a 3-2 and uh, Crystal Palace. So, yep, I got that okay. And, of course, we go on to the Liverpool game, the wonderful 2-1. And it's a great image, obviously, of, uh, of our hero clearing the ball off the line. Going through Salah's legs, wasn't it? I think it was Salah's legs. Yeah, I mean, officially it was 11 millimetres short of going over the line. But there is an allowance of 3.6 millimetres. So if you said 7.4 millimetres or you said 14.6 millimetres, I'll give you a point anywhere between those two. But, uh, yeah, officially it's 11 millimetres. Great image there. See, I'm saying it now, even though I said I wouldn't. Right, who put the ball in the... You know, who half the team did well, of course, a 7 0 against Rotherham, January 6, 2019. And say we did we did have an own goal, but we had Sterling, Folden, Jesus, Mares, Otamendi, and Sane. So there's all the images of the players. Fantastic there. Poor Rotherham. They weren't the only team to suffer 7 0, though, were they? Right, the League Cup final, very uninspiring, wasn't it? A nil-nil, uh, but it's our became our second trophy. Great picture there of, uh, of course, Raheem Sterling holding our cup. That's become come to be our cup now, hasn't it? And of course, it was Sterling who won the decided, who scored the decided penalty. A very cheeky top top bins, wasn't it? It's all the boss top bins. Right, then they would talk, as I said, we were talking about the other 7-0, weren't we? we were obviously against Schalke. So what did we win the first leg? Obviously, well, we did win the first leg uh, in Schalke. We won it 3-2. So the aggregate score, there's a seven score is in that one. The aggregate score that you should have get to get your point would be 10-2. So that's your aggregate score. I've only dropped one point so far, so you're going to have to be really good to beat me on this quiz, aren't you? I've done actually better than I thought I would have done because... So perhaps I picked the questions I knew the answers to, you know, psychologically in my mind when I was picking the questions, perhaps that came, that's why I've, I've done so well. So let me know anyway. Yeah, so 10-2 against Schalke. And obviously after the disappointing uh, Spurs game, of course, this 
this lad, and this is why I altered the question before. So we ended up with two answers with Phil Foden, obviously now because obviously he scored the goal. So I didn't want that to happen. That's why I'd, I wanted Oxford as my answer early on, but I made an error. So hey. so my apologies, useless, absolutely useless. It's my, it's my age. You have to you have to forgive me. So Phil Foden, of course, scored his goal in the in the game against. So but it, but it, we were surprised he was in the team, weren't we? Uh, and then we go. Question 14, obviously number three trophy up for grabs, wasn't it? A 4-1 win at Brighton. So I'm just showing the scores there are the goals against Brighton. But how long were we behind? Well, I've got here 83 seconds we were behind for before uh, Aguero equalised. So if you said 80 or 86, give yourself give yourself a point. I, I thought 82, actually, so I'll give myself a point for that. And again, the last, so I've only got one run, so this is good, isn't it? On to the last one, and I knew both of these as well. So out of 26 points, I've got 25. So on to the last one, obviously the 6-0 win against Watford in the FA Cup. Obviously, previously a 6-0 defeat had come to Derby in 1903. Berry, obviously, sadly, no, no longer with us, beat Derby 6-0 in 1903, and there was... The formidables, formidables finish. That was the formidables trophy. And I, I can't really pass without saying I didn't ask a question about this match, but my favourite image in the whole book of wonderful images. I mean, obviously, there's the caption. Don't really need to say too much more about this guy, do we? But that has to be my favourite image in the book. And I think it's a lot of people. I see. I've heard other people say that as well. So um, my thanks to Leslie Ross, the illustrator, and Peter Thornton for his. Very interesting. I mean, I might dip in and out of that all the future things, perhaps for quizzes and stuff. And I just want to, before I fit, let me just give you the the links. Uh, yeah, a link for the book, a, de a definite link for the book is silver blue, spell S I L B A blue dot co dot UK forward slash store. And it's available for £10 plus postage and packing on there. You have a couple of, um, what's the thing where she signed it, the sign the thing for us. Uh, Leslie Ross, there's a picture of her with uh, some city legends. There's Leslie. And there's Mr. Thornton with uh, Pep. A couple of images there if you're not familiar. So if you see Leslie at the game ever, just give her a shout. I've never, I'll have to keep my eyes open. I've only ever spoke to her, obviously, uh, messaged her, etc. So that'll be interesting. Uh, of course, she's at Leslie Ross 111. You can also contact uh, both at Inside Right. So obviously, I think that's for, for Peter. That's inside right W R I T E, not R I G H C. Inside right one nine five seven, and also at silver blue ten. So there are the contacts for Twitter. Let me just finish off with this little little thing in the front of the book. I'm sure Leslie won't mind me reading this out just just to finish this uh, this blog off. Really good. What we twenty two minutes? Yeah, it'll take me a minute minute or two to read this. Manchester City walkout season twenty eighteen nineteen. They saw our city and they watched in disbelief. What they were seeing was a team doing what no one else had ever done. Because we don't play this way or that way. We play our way, our way. It's his passion that guides us. Our inspiration drives us. We champion effort and skill. We champion speed, strength and style. Wherever we play, whoever we play, we champion teamwork and attack. First minute, last minute, one nil down or five nil up. Awesome. Fearsome. Some things that just take your breath. The manager stands by our side. These players have youth on their side and they know they will always be our side. Because there is nothing, nothing better than knowing that this team is ours and ours alone. There's a little blue bee there. Thought I'd just share that with you anyway. What are you going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourself. Look after your friends. Look after your family. If you got 26 out of 26, well done. If you beat my 25 out of 26, extremely well done. But as I said, I think psychologically, I probably asked you the questions I knew the answers to when I was picking them out. So don't don't base too much on that. As I say, look after yourselves. Look after everybody. Look at that. Look after the vulnerable. Let's keep an eye on everyone. Everyone at this time. Let's all let's look all after each other at this uh, this hard time for everyone around the world. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Join me for one of the other vlogs in the links below, etc. that are coming out. Push that bell notification so when the you know when these things are coming out. I hope you enjoyed that quiz. I enjoyed my thanks to Leslie Ross and Peter Thornton. Absolutely superb. But get on that site, go and buy it. There's still copies there. Go and buy it now. Fantastic. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till the next time.
Bird is saying goodbye.